In this video, I'm gonna let y'all hear exactly what Canelo Alvarez had to say about a Bud Crawford fight. We also gonna talk about why Bud Crawford is gonna be forced to retire soon from the sport of boxing without another mega payday, unless one thing happens. We're gonna talk about all of this in this video. Make sure that you hit my like button. Make sure that you wait for the audio that I play y'all from Canelo Alvarez and let's cook. Now let's get straight into it and keep it a buck. Terrence Bud Crawford and Canelo Alvarez was never a fight that people even thought about talking about. Bud Crawford, 147 pounder. Canelo Alvarez been reigning at 168 for years now. Nobody was ever talking about that fight. Now, Bud Crawford, he began to get those questions leading up to the Errol Spence fight. And he always shot it down right away. He told people that, no, I'm not crazy. I know that there's weight divisions for a reason. I can't go that high up in weight. Nah, I'm cool on Canelo. Like, I'm not crazy. I'm not going to fight Canelo Alvarez. He, anytime he was asked, he said those same things. Now, Bud Crawford, he went in there and he beat up Errol Spence. After the Errol Spence fight, what happened was is Terrence Bud Crawford saw the huge payday that he got. Bud Crawford, being a very, very smart businessman, he ain't a dummy. He's a very smart businessman. And with people around him hyping him up because he beat up Errol Spence and let's just keep it a buck. Errol Spence was not in his prime. Errol Spence that night was a shell of himself. He was. He wasn't the same Errol Spence that went over there and fight, fought Kell Brook. He wasn't the same Errol Spence that beat up Lamont Peterson. Like, he just wasn't. He wasn't even the same Errol Spence that fought Sean Porter. Even though I don't think that Errol Spence was at his best when he fought Sean Porter because he had too many things that he was doing outside of the ring that he shouldn't have been doing. But that's a whole different story in itself. But he wasn't even that Errol Spence. And this is not to take anything away from Terrence Bud Crawford because it's not Bud Crawford's fault that Errol Spence was no longer at his best. And it's not Bud Crawford's fault, anything that was going on with Errol Spence leading up to that fight. You know, Bud Crawford's job is to go in there and do exactly what he did on that night to Errol Spence. But the facts are the facts. He did not beat a Errol Spence at his best. Now, am I saying that he couldn't have beat Errol Spence when he was at his best? I'm not saying that. We'll never know. But it was because of that win and that huge payday that he got that he had never seen over there on top rank. And like I said, people around him start hyping Terrence Crawford up. You can get another huge payday. And you can beat Canelo. Canelo ain't that big. You stronger than Canelo. Yeah, Canelo can't F with you. And then Terrence Crawford decides, you know what? I'm gonna go after one mega huge payday and then I'm gonna retire. That mega huge payday will be Canelo Alvarez. And the first thing that Bud did is he called out Canelo and said, you know what? Yeah, if Canelo down to do it, I'm down to do it. We could fight at a catchway. Canelo shot that shit down immediately and said, I cannot move down from 168. I'm not doing it. I can't get down that low in weight because I believe that Crawford said like a catchway that like 163 or something around there Canelo said no nah, I can't do it after that and after people continue to hype Bud Crawford up he said well, you know what I'll fight Canelo at 168 I'll move up three weight divisions and I'll challenge him for undisputed at 168 what did Canelo then do he shot it down again he said you know what nah I don't gain nothing out of that. If I beat him, I'm not going to get no credit. And they're going to say that I'm still ducking the guys in my weight division. Or Baval at 175. I'm not doing that. I'm a, it, I have nothing to gain out of it. He's small. That's all people going to say. 
And he did say that Terrence Crawford is a hell of a fighter. He's a great fighter. But it just wasn't the route that he was looking to take. Now, with Canelo saying that Terrence Crawford and his team, they kept lobbying for the fight. So then what you had was channels. One main channel, Blue Blood. And I'm just keeping it real with y'all because y'all know where this news was coming from. Blue Blood, because of his own agenda, he started coming out with all of these lies telling y'all that Bud Crawford and Canelo Alvarez is in serious talks. Bud Crawford and Canelo Alvarez, now it can really happen in May or September. Terrence Bud Crawford is bulking up to fight Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez has narrowed it down to two opponents for May and September. Now it's going to be Jaime Munguia and Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Bud Crawford and Canelo this. Bud Crawford and Canelo that. Breaking news this and breaking news that. I'm just telling y'all what y'all been seeing. Where all this news has been coming from. Not all of it, but a lot of the news with the viewers that watch YouTube. This is where they've been getting all this Terrence Bud Crawford and Canelo Alvarez news from. Now people start to really believe, even though we heard Canelo pretty much shoot it down, now people starting to believe, man, he's saying these sources and this source and Canelo's camp and this and that is saying that Terrence Crawford is a major player in a fight with Canelo Alvarez now. Now y'all are believing all of this stuff, right? Flat out lies. Flat out lies. But people are following these channels and they're going to believe it. So now that causes Terrence Bud Crawford's fan base to get excited. And when you bring up a fight between Bud Crawford and a Jerron Ennis or the rematch with Errol Spence and Bud Crawford, people start shitting on Errol Spence wanting the rematch that he deserves. People start shitting on Jerron Ennis wanting to fight with Terrence Crawford because he was Bud Crawford's mandatory before they stripped Bud Crawford of the IBF strap because he told him a fight between him and Jerron Ennis was not going to happen. So you get Bud Crawford's fan base geeked up and believing it's really going to happen. Blue Blood is media. He's coming out with all this news. He's telling y'all all this stuff. We should believe it. He said it. When it's all a lie, a narrative that you're trying to make. And like I said, I don't have no problem with blue blood. But the thing is, is that when you have people telling these lies, and me, on the other hand, I continue to tell people, Terrence Bud Crawford and Canelo Alvarez is never happening. It's not going to happen. For one, Canelo has two fights left on his PBC contract. For two, Terrence Bud Crawford is not a PBC fighter. So Al Heyman doesn't work like that. Heyman is not going to let Bud Crawford just skip over Errol Spence and a rematch that Errol Spence wants, reward him by giving him a Canelo Alvarez fight. Or skipping over Jerron Ennis, somebody that's worked very closely with the PBC, who was Terrence Bud Crawford's mandatory. And a lot of people want to see that fight. Steven Espinosa said that he would love to put Jerron Ennis and Terrence Crawford fight on. Al Hammond is not going to let him skip over Jerron Ennis and reward him with a Canelo Alvarez fight. But now we finally heard from Canelo Alvarez telling y'all straight up and down what it is. I'm going to play y'all the audio from Canelo. I'm going to let y'all hear exactly what he said. Then I'm going to translate what he said because it is in Spanish. Then we're going to come back and we're going to cook on it. Listen to what Canelo Alvarez had to say for himself. Para dar la posibilidad. Ahora que nos fascinan las mega peleas y que enfrentar a los supercampeones. ¿Existe una posibilidad de una pelea con Terrence Crawford? No. ¿No? Es así de plano no. Sí. No existe. Es que hay mucho dinero. Va a haber gente que la quiere. Montar. Sí, pero pues me van a criticar, de todo me critican, a me critican, o sea, de verdad ahorita la quieren, me criticaron porque peleé con Charlo, que subió, que es más grande que yo, porque yo soy un peleador chico para estos pesos, eh, porque subió de peso, pero no critican cuando yo subo de peso, entonces, ahora imagínate a Crawford desde Vuelte a 168 libras, entonces, ¿qué, qué voy a...? Eh, tengo, tengo todo que perder y nada que ganar, 
Y es que la gente no se si da cuenta. No, Tenía le ganó. Este bebé era muy chico. Sí, era ¿no? muy chico y todo. Entonces... Oye, y ahora sucede otro fenómeno. Este, cuando... Saúl, porque tenemos 10 años de estar en el radar. So, basically, what Canelo said, he just said, no, there's a 0% chance I'll ever fight Terrence Crawford. I don't have nothing to gain, but I have everything to lose. When I beat him, everybody just gonna say that he's too small and I'm not gonna get no credit for it. That's it. A 0% chance. It's never happening. Let it go. Stop listening to all these lies. With Bud Crawford, that was the payday that he was wishing and praying for so he could ride off in the sunset and retire. Bud knew that was probably the biggest payday that he could get, right? He got to change his plans. Now, I don't even think that Bud thought that Canelo was serious because when Bo Max spoke about it, he said, we ain't heard nothing about all this news that's coming out with Canelo. We haven't heard that. So Bud pretty much been knowing that he got to go a different route. That's why you saw Bud start calling out Tim Zhu. But Tim Zhu is not the huge payday for Bud. Tim Zhu is not the huge payday that Bud wants to have before he retires. The only way that Bud Crawford gets another huge payday is he has to rematch Errol Spence. Now the payday still might not be as much as the first payday because they ain't really promoting the fight like that, right? I think that Errol Spence coming out and saying the things that he had wrong with him, yeah, now people want to see it, but he got to do more than that to make people really want to see it. So this time, they can get the same payday, or maybe they can even get a bigger payday than they got the first fight. It's going to be hard, but they're going to have to promote it a lot more than they did the first fight. Bud Crawford and Errol Spence gonna have to show some real beef towards each other. And it ain't just on Bud, it's really more so on Errol Spence because he the one that got beat up and lost the fight. So Errol Spence is gonna have to dip into his bag and do something that he's not used to having to do is get out of his character to promote this fight. And this is the only way that Bud gets another huge payday in the sport of boxing before he has to retire. Bud Crawford, he got a rematch Errol Spence for another huge payday. And that's just what it is. Canelo Alvarez is never happening. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about all this. Drop a comment in the comment section. Make sure y'all hit my like button. And y'all already know how I do. There you go talking that boxing again. And I'm gone. I know the maters can't stand it. I ain't got a blemish on my job.